You know, the mind could be changed by you all the time, just the same way you have a thermostat inside of a room. You change which temperature that thermostat is. Well, that's the same way with the mind. The mind could be changed at any given time. You could even choose focus. You could even choose inspiration levels. Did you know that when you're inspired, it's easier for you to obtain knowledge than when you're frustrated? Have you ever seen how someone takes in information when they're in a place that they don't want to be? Have you ever saw how they are incapable of grasping knowledge if they're in a place that they don't want to be? Have you ever noticed how people reject what they're seeing or hearing if they're in a place they don't want to be? That's all mind. Today, I did something I never did before in this body. It's over 100 degrees where I'm at. And I worked out in over 100 degree weather. And I noticed that when I got to 20 minutes in the workout, my mind slightly went off on the heat and went off on the environment on the outside. And then I felt my body getting weak. But I worked out for 40 more minutes plus over an hour in that 100 plus degree weather. So what happened at 20 minutes that I didn't quit at 20 minutes, I got over 40. At that 21st minute, I took my mind back into its goal. My mind went off on the natural. But I placed my mind back into the supernatural. I did that myself. If you're going to successfully make it with the Lord, you're going to have to know how to take responsibility over your mind because a lot of people don't do it. And they try to blame situations and blame demons and blame all type of stuff. You have... the right and the charge to rule your mind and dominate mentally at all times, no matter what comes your way. I took my mind into 40 more minutes in the heat. And do you know, when I got to the 40, uh, the, the 40 minute mark, uh, notice I'm doing over 60, the 40 minute mark, the body saying, come on, let's just quit. My brain, if it stays in the anointing, my body stays in the anointing as well. Joseph, his body followed his mind. Everybody's body follows their mind. Now, saints, if I want to go into the deeper psychological power of God. I'll bring you here before I get off of here right now, apostolically. The mind is also magnetic and there are magnetic fields in the mind. So if your mind is thinking about the wealth of God, that's what comes to you. If your mind is thinking about healing, that's what comes to you. So saints, I don't have sickness in my body or diseases. But there are times where I meditate on health as if I'm sick. And then while I'm meditating on health, I call in the health, glory, and wind of the spirit. I'm doing that through meditation. And that power of health 
enters into my bones. That power of health enters into my blood cells, into my vessels, into my arteries. And by the mind, I'm using the magnetic fields of the mind. Your mind was made with magnetic fields. So Jesus is attracting miracles, but the place that he goes is in doubt and unbelief. So they can't attract no miracles. So his magnetic fields are being interrupted by theirs. In life, the Lord Jesus could be wanting to do something for you, and it's specified. It could be your health. It could be your child. It could be you. It could be marriage. It could be mind. It could be money. You have to attract the same like mind of Christ so that you could be one with him so it could happen. If you don't get your mind where Christ wants to go and what Christ wants to do, it'll be blocked off no matter that it's God's plan. Saints, do you think that everybody is having children that God wants them to have? Their mind is not attracting the lifestyle of no children. Their mind is attracting children. Now, if God doesn't want them to have children, the mind is attracting events that's not supposed to happen. Did you know that your desires are being sculptured by what you see. I told you the only people that are not governed by what they see, their life doesn't go by what they see, is blind people. Blind people, their life is sculptured by what they hear. So Ray Charles, he wanted woman because of what he heard. Not by what he saw. He never saw hips. He wasn't seeing breasts. He was seeing what he heard. The blind man that cried out for Jesus never saw his garment. The woman with the issue of blood saw his garment. The blind men heard about his miracles. And the magnetic fields of their brain was activated divinely. When you let the divine magnetic fields of your brain get activated, you're drawing all of the kingdom and all of its power and wealth. The kingdom of heaven is all about lavishness, excellence, class, elegance, perfection, flawlessness, spotlessness, the absence of error, deception, flaw, brokenness is whole. Is holiness. In the kingdom, the kingdom consists of abundance and riches and wealth. So when you become born again, the magnetic fields of your brain has to be constantly renewed by you to this kingdom and its condition. And so when you have the mentality of the kingdom, the mind of Christ, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ, the magnetic fields start working to attract that to you. So your brain is a force that pulls things in. That's why you should never fear. You should never worry because what you fear is being pulled in. Job revealed that the magnetic fields of his brain brought in stuff that he dreaded, that he was trying to avoid. That's why you have to be diligent, the word of God saying in Hebrews, to enter into the rest. You got to learn to rest. It's all your job. Finally, remember these things. Jesus does all his miracles, not just by his spirit, but by his spirit traveling through the soul 
without hindrances. Then the power comes out of the body. So I want you to hear me. Jesus had the fish with money inside of it in his spirit. But because his soul is renewed to the reality of supernatural money, the soul could speak out of the body and speak what the spirit knows and says there is a fish with money inside of it. Take that coin out of that. The body is now saying what the spirit knows and the soul is not hindered from letting the spirit act out its power. So saints, I want you to look at throughout the whole course of your life. Your problem will always be, have you properly managed your soul? If you don't manage your soul, you'll be powerful and live powerless because the soul is blocking the power that God invested in your spirit. Your soul could block prophecy that God invested in your spirit. Your soul could block healing that God invested in your spirit. So saints, your soul needs by his stripes, you were healed. Your soul needs healing. We often look at by his stripes, you are healed as bodily diseases. But your soul goes through sicknesses and diseases throughout life. When you talk to somebody you're not supposed to be with, when you pursue somebody you're not supposed to pursue, when you ask stupid questions, you damage your soul. When you imitate fools, you damage your soul. When you become interested in this world, you damage your soul. When you play and entertain your flesh, you damage your soul. And when your soul is damaged, it sins. Because damage means that the soul is not able to perform at the status that it was made to perform. It's damage. The same way a car, if your car is damaged, it can't drive the way it's supposed to drive. Well, your soul is like a vehicle. It can't go where it's supposed to go. If you look at grace, you take the G out of grace, you get race. Grace, race. Well, what is in a race? A fast car. That means that the soul is like a Lamborghini. It's like a Bugatti. It's like a ghost. It's like a Maserati. The soul is like a Corvette. It was made to go fast. Your soul slows down outside of grace. So what's opposite to grace? Law. And what does law provoke? Sin. So outside of grace is sin. So when you're not in grace, you sin. Sin slows down the soul. The soul, when it slows down, even though the spirit has things that are lightning speed, the spirit has to imitate the soul. So saints, do you know somebody that never repents throughout their life, never knows Jesus? Do you know that their soul completely suffocated their spirit? They committed suicide to their spirit. They, they blocked their spirit from breathing. So get the mind in order and everything else will flow out of it.